I'm Ollie Gardner from Unbounce, and in this video series, I'll show you how to use fundamental design principles to increase the conversions of your landing pages. Whether you're a marketer, designer, copywriter, just a business person, it doesn't matter, because when you understand how design works, you can get more clicks, more leads, more conversions, and more sales from the traffic you're sending to your landing pages. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. The design principle of affordance. Now, affordance is all about how clearly an object's design infers how it should be used. Think of a round door handle. That implies you can turn it. A flat one, push it down like that. Or a door with a handle, you pull. A flat panel, you push. For a button, the affordance level is concerned with how clickable it appears. We have high affordance down to low affordance. At the top, we have a button with some depth. It's got a drop shadow, it's a little bit 3D, and it has rounded corners. That looks like a clickable button. Beneath that, we have no drop shadow. It's just a flat button, but it still has rounded corners, so it looks like a button. Third, we take away the rounded corners, and it's just kind of a rectangle. Doesn't look that clickable. Moving further down, we have the ghost button. Very trendy, and design trends are a dangerous thing to copy unless you validate their impact. In this case, you can have a contrast problem with a ghost button because basically the insides are transparent. So all you see is the stroke, that's the line outside, and the word inside. This is our call to action, CTA. If you watch the video on contrast, you'll understand why this can be a problem. If you have a complex background behind your call to action, it might be an image, it might be a video, that can impact the readability because that's gonna show through the button. Now, ghost buttons look really cool, but if they're not done right, used in the right way, they can cause readability problems. From years of using the web, we're familiar that a word underlined is a link. So that, as far as text is concerned, has pretty high affordance. But then if you remove the underline, this is now essentially just a word, and you have to use color, again, as contrast, in order to make that stand out as being different from the rest of the text. So those are the levels of affordance. Now, how can we use this principle to create a better user experience? You can use affordance to great effect if you have some kind of flow. This might be a multi-step form or a sign up or purchase funnel where someone has to go through multiple steps. Typically, in a multi-step process, you can go forward and you can go back. Look at the top here. There are two buttons that are exactly the same design-wise. Neither one is dominant and without the words on it, there's nothing to really suggest visually which one goes in which direction. You have to have the words there to understand the meaning of the button. Whereas this one here, we have higher affordance here than there, showing that forward progress is the dominant action that you want someone to take, and there's the subdominant action for someone to go back if they need it, but you're applying the principle to move people down your process. Finally, you can add the principle of direction, put some arrows on there to really make it clear that you've got a back and forward movement. And that is how you use affordance to create a better user experience. Now I'm going to jump inside the Unbounce landing page builder to show you how to use affordance to create a better experience. Back inside the Unbounce landing page builder with our optimization kit example for these videos. And you'll see this call to action at the top. Let's talk about affordance again. This is the scary ghost button. And you can see it's kind of, it's hard to read because it's transparent. So let's give this some more affordance. So the first thing we'll do, we will increase the contrast. Now it really stands out. Now we want to give it some depth so it looks really clickable. To do that, I'm just going to add a box here behind it. Now you can see it has a lot of depth. It looks like it's clickable. I'm going to make it a slightly different color. Okay, so it's a bit more connected. Now you can see it's a big, chunky button. It looks kind of cool. Sometimes you do need this extra button up there, let's say, to show someone a demo. Like, this is the sign-up button. You might want a secondary call to action to watch a demo. But if you remember from the distraction video talking about attention ratio, it's okay to have links on your landing page if they don't take you away from the page. They can jump you around the same page, they can be a document download, terms and conditions, things like that. They're not actual real damaging distractions. And you can also pop things up in a light box so you can show 
extra content if you need to without taking someone away. So I'm gonna add a secondary button beside this main call to action. I'll duplicate this one. But now we want to make this a ghost button so that it has less dominance than the main CTA. So now you can see as a ghost button, this one looks secondary because it's a ghost button and this one has the full high contrast, high affordance, which makes it dominant. Now to make sure we don't leave the page, we're gonna make this secondary call to action pop up a video player. So over on the right hand side here, we can change the action of the button to show a light box. We will create a new light box which has appeared up here. So now this is gonna pop up over the landing page without taking someone away. And I'm gonna put a video in here to show an example demo. Now I've just gone to YouTube. I'm gonna find a video. This is one of my talk videos. And I'm just going to grab the embed code from YouTube and paste that into the video element here. Now I have my light box with a video all set up and we'll go check it out in the preview. So there we have our secondary CTA. If I click that, we've got my YouTube video embedded in there. So what we've done here is use three design principles. First, contrast. The main CTA really stands out with the contrasting blue color. Then affordance. We made it look like a button by adding that depth to it there. And we use the principle of distraction to make sure any extra links we have don't take us away from the page. In this case, launching a light box for the video. The more design principles we understand and apply together, the better the user experience we'll create in our marketing. And then ultimately, we'll increase our conversion rates. That's another landing page design principle you have in your toolkit. So please try them out on your landing pages. You'll improve the clarity, you'll improve the impact of the design and ultimately increase conversions. I recommend you check out unbalanced.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Ollie Gardner. Click that link up there. It will take you to a preview of the Unbalanced Landing Page Builder. You can play around with it, see how easy it is to use, apply some of the design principles I've been teaching you, and you'll have higher converting landing pages in no time. You can check out more landing page design videos down below. If you're watching on YouTube, go to thelandingpagecourse.com where I'll teach you a whole bunch more about high impact, high converting landing pages.